Hi and welcome to another episode and what we've got here is, is a drawbridge plus which is hiding inside down the back there. You may have guessed already what this is for but for those that haven't this is so that you can use a USB floppy drive and actually write and read real Amiga discs which is great fun to be able to do on your PC. You can actually use it with an emulator uh, Win UAE and use them directly or you can do real discs and use them on your real Amiga. Now, what I want to point out for this is if you haven't actually learned all of that, go check the episode there. But what we're doing here today is someone asked me, how do you actually upgrade the firmware? Because they ran the software, but then the software doesn't upgrade the firmware. And that's true because you have to use some Adreno um, programming software. Uh, which actually zaps the firmware across. You are given the firmware within the application that you download, but yeah, it gets a bit confusing. And especially if you've never done anything like that before. I have zapped things before with this Adreno program, but um, it was a bit of a head scratch on how to get it work with this because I had to do some updates. Anyway, you'll see when you come across and have a look what I did on the computer. Right, so you've sat down by your PC, you've got your modded USB drive in and you've managed to download and get Drawbridge going, if not today, last time when I showed the last episode. But anyway, this time around though, there's an update. So you go get the update and that brings up your browser and it throws you at the front page of where you know where to go anyway. But then it goes, then you need to click download and then it tells you about the license agreement and you should agree to it before you download it. That's all good and fine. But note though, when you get a new version, there's most likely a new firmware update. And this is the bit that's a little bit tricky if you don't know what you're doing. I had to learn, everyone has to learn. But let's grab the drawbridge first because we want the latest version. So we've got that. Minimize the browser down already so you do not forget. Close down the old version of Drawbridge. Bring your browser back up again. And then you wander off to the Adreno website, which I'll put a link down below, so don't worry about the full name of it, but it's basically Adreno website. And you want the latest version of Adreno. So you grab that. Donate if you wish. And then that should be downloaded as well. So there we go. So we can minimize the browser down. We don't need that anymore for that, but we do need these files. Now, what I'm going to do is bring up the folder for where I want to put Drawbridge. And of course, my PC is being annoying right now. So let's bring up another one, drag that across. Just a hidey hide for now. Right, so we've got a drawbridge folder. I'll dump that in there for now. And then we'll unpack it. And there we go. So there's a new version of drawbridge. Now it's this bit, which is of interest for when it comes to the firmware. We need the Adreno. We can just double click that to get it going into install. It does this. I'll keep dragging it across for anything that uh, skips across to the other screen. It installs relatively quickly. If you've already got a version, you're going to have to update it. Probably. Might as well. at full speed here there we go right so let's start the Adreno software there's a splash screen which I can't show you right now because that's on the other screen right so there's a few things that we need to do before we actually start loading everything into this properly if you've already had um, this Adreno software installed before because you've zapped something else that you have Go to Tools, 
go to board manager boards manager and then click there so we've got updatable and if there's anything in here update everything and then also for here manage the libraries wait for that to load up and again if there's anything updatable update them and then we need to make sure that we've got this correct kind of board now these pre-made ones by Rob they're the nano ones so we select nano and then we need the processor 80 mega 328p not the old build loader but the this one select the com port which in my case is com6 let's just get board info to make sure it's reading stuff it is so let's go get the sketch file which came with the app that we downloaded for an update so remember where all that's installed for you so we go to file click open we click on through we get there and then we click open we can close the old version and then we click the upload now don't worry so much about all this red text here what you're going to wait for is this spinning wheel so just put it just to the side of that updating bit and sit and wait and wait and wait depending on how long you want to wait for but basically you have to wait for it and there we go done uploading so fingers crossed everything is done by all means before then you know make sure there's no thunderstorm someone's going to unplug your computer to do the hoovering something along those lines but what we need to do is that drawbridge again so this is loaded we click diagnostic we click cancel but we can see here firmware is up to date and it's the version that was on the website so we're all good and happy so let me wind down now and go across back to the table okay so you've done all of that that's So don't forget to have a look in the description for the info you might need. While you're there, check out for the Discord links and for the Patreon links, always very helpful. Then hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, but as always, happy gaming.